So I was looking at illustrators for a long time and thinking that I just want to tell stories with my pictures and it just didn't seem to happen for me. For some reason, having a whole story in a one picture to me was really difficult and it was really frustrating. So if I could give some advice to my older self when it comes to storytelling in pictures, it would be to have more patience because I remember when I was younger and I wanted to do illustrations that have complete stories within just one picture, that when I started drawing, I think my biggest problem was that I, I was expecting all of the answers at once. I was expecting the whole story and the whole concept to come to me like magically without me myself having to work for it at all. And as I've done this type of like more illustration type of pictures now, more often that kind of have more story to them. And for example, for this picture, I'm really happy with the story that this piece tells. I would not have been able to do this 10 years ago. And the main reason is that I wasn't flexible in the process when I was painting. What I was thinking with the story is that it's something that has to be kind of encapsulated with just like one key concept. And for example, for this piece, the main idea came from the fact that it was Halloween and I was going through my Twitter feed and there were all these kind of like very bloody and gruesome pictures and gifs that I just, I'm very sensitive person to violence. So to me, I unfollowed a lot of people, not because I dislike them. I just don't want to have that sort of stuff in my feed because it gets stuck in my head in a very negative way. So I thought that like I want to create something more fun for this Halloween just to feel more safer. I came up with this idea that like maybe Halloween is the one day of the year when ghosts wash their sheets because there's already a lot of like commotion in the town and people are scaring themselves. They can use this opportunity to like get their ghost sheets properly washed. So that's the whole like main concept of this illustration, but I don't think that by itself is the whole story of this piece. Where that story comes in is all those like finer details, like what kind of sheets do the ghosts own and do they have a pet? What pet is that? Like then I came up with this scary wolf, but I, it wasn't turning out to be super scary, so I gave it a bib and a bone and all these like small details that slowly build the characters to be what they are. And I think that is what builds the story. This kind of like more holistic view of understanding different aspects about these characters' lives, what they do and what they are like. So the old me who just wanted to have all these answers at once, I just didn't understand that that's not even possible because I need to have like clues to start building the puzzle. If I, and if I have a main concept as an idea, like for example, ghosts are washing their sheets, that's the main thread to pull on, but that's not everything. And I have to keep looking for those smaller details, like what time of the year is it? What type of an environment is it? And so on. And once I have those, then I actually can tell a story. A story is never just two men run into this building and then a bomb went off. It's the whole context of like what those personalities are and what is at stake. Building those small details in once you have the main concept in, that's what's going to form the story. Now I'm more aware of the fact that when I start painting, and I often start painting without any idea at all, but I just keep my eyes open for clues that I can kind of like chase to bring it all together and in one cohesive piece. So if the old Mikko is watching this, I wish that you would be more patient with your pieces and just keep looking for those clues and stop comparing to other people's finished artwork when your own piece isn't even halfway done. So just keep painting and it will get there. And I think that relates to most of my paintings as a whole because I don't really leave paintings unfinished ever. Especially when I'm doing digital art or using Procreate, I can just shape the painting endlessly. And if I'm not happy with it, I can just keep working on it. And that same applies to the story as well. If I'm not happy with the story and the way that the details are coming together or how the characters are being portrayed, I can just keep working on it until it's there and it's done. And all these tricks also apply to environments because when you are building an environment, 
you have these kind of main shapes and that's kind of like the main block interface of the environment and then you start doing buildings and then you think about like how would roads work in this town and then you have an entire environment piece and you can tell an entire story with that when you have those smaller details figured out and the piece starts to have its own inner logic what type of plants would grow at this altitude and so on and then when you have all of those smaller details in there even if they don't seem like they are the main point of this painting they will draw the viewer's attention in and make that world seem more real. My main takeaways for this video would be have a main concept, but understand that you still need to do the blocking and then you need to kind of like flesh out the details and find the personality in the characters or find the inner logic in the environment. And then there's the story, but don't expect to jump to this like point three from zero. So that's a whole process and you shouldn't compare ever your unfinished piece to somebody else's finished artwork because you'll get there you'll just need to be patient and keep working i like this piece because it tells a lot about what kind of a person i am and how i feel about scary things and that's how it feels true to me and that's always something that i look for in my own art uh, i'm nick and this is a channel about art and creativity and if you like that stuff you can subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.